following may not be suitable for all audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Police in shootout with would-be robbers in St. Andrew. One man was apprehended and a search is now underway for another following a reported shootout between police and would-be robbers in a section of St. Andrew on Wednesday. Police report that about 11.45 a.m., two armed men on a motorcycle attempted to stage a robbery at the intersection of Old Hope Road and North Avenue when they were intercepted by cops. A shootout reportedly ensued between the police and the gunmen before one of the would-be robbers was held and a Beretta pistol and a motorcycle seized. The other man, who it is believed was injured in the confrontation, managed to escape. Authorities say they are currently conducting a search to locate the fugitive. Extortion racket war in Spanish town. Armed thugs linked to the One Order and Klansman gangs are once again jostling for control over the lucrative extortion racket in the bus park and surrounding businesses in Spanish town, leading to a flare-up of violence in the capital that has claimed five lives in the past week. Over the weekend, there was a double murder in Quarry Hill across from Lime Tree Grove where an unidentified male and a 23-year-old male identified as Sion Parks were killed by persons unknown. The Jamaica Constabulary Communications Unit confirmed the shootings. The individuals were found with gunshots in a lane in the community. The incident happened about 8.35 p.m. on Friday. Both deaths are related but happened only minutes apart, a representative told Loop News. A police source told Loop News that there may be new, highly motivated players in the extortion racket. The uptick in violence comes from new persons competing for control of the bus park and the extortion business in the area. It is Klansmen against Klansmen, and the One Order gang is involved as well, the source said. Last week, Monday, there was a high noon murder when a 28-year-old man, Kevin Lewis of Della Vega City, was shot and killed by unknown assailants. Reports from the Spanish Town Police are that about 11.55 a.m., Lewis was standing at the roadway when he was approached by armed men. They opened gunfire to Lewis's upper body and the police were summoned. And Lewis was taken to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. Lewis was reportedly involved in various roles in the transport industry in the town. On Tuesday, another man was killed as armed gangs invaded the town in the morning. There was then a lull in the violence until three more were killed over the weekend. According to the police, members of the notorious Klansman gang in Spanish town St. Catherine have been raking in 1.8 million weekly from extorting mainly business owners and transport operators. This remarkable disclosure was made earlier this year at a press conference called by the Counter-Terrorism and Organized Crime Investigations Branch of the Jamaica Constabulary Force. Head of the CTOC, Assistant Commissioner of Police, ACP Fitzbailey, told members of the media at CTOC's Orange Street offices that the men, based on calculations, are collecting $85 million annually. This is from loader fees, bus drivers, taxi drivers, other businesses, and protection, among other things. They are required to pay extortion fees. ACP Bailey explained when asked to give a breakdown of the weekly figure. <laughs> newborn baby decapitated during botched birth. A newborn baby was tragically decapitated during a botched childbirth in Brazil. Police are investigating after doctors made the 26-year-old mother give birth naturally, even though it was previously recommended she undergo a cesarean section. The incident took place at the Santa Casa de Semicordia Hospital in the city of Belen in the northern Brazilian state of Para on Friday morning. 
Relatives of the unnamed woman told local media that she had been advised to undergo a cesarean section because of health problems with the fetus, but medics at the hospital made her give birth naturally. The woman's 25-year-old husband said his partner was eight months pregnant and that she had arrived at the hospital from the city of Ore by ambulance at about 6 a.m. He told local media the doctor from Ore sent her to Berlin with a paper saying that the baby could only be born if she were operated on. According to the police report, the woman waited for over three hours before being taken to the delivery room to give birth naturally. The friend who had accompanied the woman to the hospital told relatives and police that she had advised the doctors numerous times that her friend could not undergo a natural birth. But the husband told local media they didn't listen and kept telling her to push. They pushed so hard that the head came into the nurse's hand and then fell to the floor. They only operated afterwards to remove the rest of the body. The friend told police that the delivery room was full of people in uniform who witnessed everything. The woman was then sedated before being operated on to remove the rest of the baby's body. The friend also told the police that nurses detected the child's heart beating twice, but one of the health professionals allegedly claimed the baby was dead in the womb. The husband has told local media that his wife, who has a nine-year-old son from another relationship, is being kept in hospital in a state of shock. She knows her child died, but not how. A police report has been filed. Mother charged with killing her 20-month-old baby after leaving her home alone for six days. A teen mom accused of the manslaughter of her 20-month-old daughter left her alone in their flat for six days, a court heard today. Verfi Kudu, 18, was charged after her daughter Asaya died at her flat in Brighton, East Sussex in December last year. Prosecuting Jeremy King said CCTV had shown her leaving her flat in Islingwood Road, Brighton on December 5, 2019 her 18th birthday and not returning until December 11th. He said Isaiah died while she was away. The baby was rushed to Royal Alexandra Children's Hospital in Brighton, but was tragically pronounced dead on arrival. A post-mortem and subsequent further forensic tests found baby Isaiah died from neglect. Kudi appeared via video link, wrapping herself in a grey blanket and crying as the charge was read out. The prosecution, authorized by the CPS, follows an investigation by detectives from the Surrey and Sussex Major Crime Team. No plea was entered today and she was remanded in custody until November 16th when she will appear at the Lewis Crown Court. No application was made for bail and chair of the bench and she was remanded in custody due to the nature and seriousness of the offence. How can someone leave a baby alone for six days? You can't even leave a baby alone for six hours. No water, no food, no one to care for the baby. I mean, it's absolutely ludicrous that you would do this. She's simply pure evil. So callous, selfish, and self-absorbed and careless. And even sadistic. Can you imagine what this baby went through? This torture? She needs to spend the rest of her days thinking about that. Mutant one-eyed cyclops albino baby shark found in Indonesia. It may look like a creature from an ancient myth, but this one-eyed shark is a real fin. The freakish fetus was found inside a larger shark which became trapped in the fishing nets of the coast of Maluka province, Indonesia. When the bigger predator was cut open to remove its guts, shocked fishermen found a tiny white cyclops lurking inside. The bizarre baby had one large eye in the middle of its forehead, along with a milky white body and fully formed fins. It is believed the larger predator was pregnant and carrying the rare fetus when it became caught in the netting. One of the fishermen said, We found three babies inside, but one of them looked strange with only one eye. Its color was strange too, like milk, he said. Those on board reported their strange catch to the local marine office before turning over the unborn baby shark for tests. The creature was already dead when they found it, the fisherman explained. 
The shark's condition, known as cyclopia, is a rare congenital disorder characterized by the failure of the frontal portion of the brain to properly divide the orbits of the eye into two cavities. It occurs within the septum of the brain and face defects known as hollow prosencephaly, which in severe cases can result in miscarriage or stillbirth. The freak of nature's other apparent condition, albinism, forces the shark to produce low amounts of menylene, which is responsible for pigment in the body. The tiny beast is now being compared to another monster, Mike Wazowski, from the movie Monsters, Inc. It is not the first time a one-eyed shark has emerged from the depths. In 2011, it was reported that one of the extremely rare creatures was found inside the womb of a bull shark in the Gulf of California. Marine expert Felipe Galvan Magana of Mexico Central Interdisciplinario de Ciencias del Mar said at the time, this is extremely rare. As far as I know, less than 50 examples of abnormality like this have been recorded.